Florida offers a variety of care options for women during prenatal care, labor, and birth, and one of those is choosing a midwife. Well, Melissa Courtney, a certified nurse midwife, joins me to explain the benefits of choosing this option. Lots to talk about this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So let's first start and explain what an actual midwife is, because I do think there are some maybe misconceptions or sure. maybe some assumptions about this. So you explain what uh, the title sure. means. So essentially a nurse midwife, we become registered nurses pre before becoming a nurse midwife mm -hmm. and then go on to obtain our master's degree or PhD to actually be able to practice midwifery and offer care in the uh, clinic setting. And then also at Women's Care Florida, we do all of our births actually in the hospital. So what's interesting because my, I think what a lot of people might assume is you have to be pregnant to see a midwife. Yes, what it say is you? A, a common misconception. And so we actually see female patients from adolescence to menopause for a variety of reasons. So okay, I'm just gonna ask why, yeah. Yes, yeah, so from having your annual exam to if you're having gynecological issues, but we also do basic primary care as well. Okay, so what are the benefits do you think of, of going in and going ahead and requesting a midwife? Sure. So a big part of what we do is spending a lot of time with you with your appointment and a lot of um, focus on educating you for preventative care mm -hmm. versus trying to put band-aids on medical issues. Ah, all right. So when would you kind of ideally, let's say you, you, you do know that you want to start a family soon. I mean, how soon do you come and see a midwife? Sure. So a preconception visit is really a great idea just so that we can talk about those things to get your body more prepared mm -hmm. prior to being, um, to getting pregnant because there's nutritional supplements and diet changes mm -hmm. and certainly just you know limiting those exposures that could be an issue when you do yeah. become pregnant. One of the other misconceptions we were talking about before we got started is, is I think maybe sometimes people hear midwife and they assume oh it's just for at home birth but explain that this is sure. still a hospital setting. Yes and so it is a common misconception <laughs> with that but we do do hospital birth only with Women's Care Florida and very much a part of the whole team. If there are issues and you require a cesarean, we have physicians that are available to perform that task. And then also just there in case things do become very medically complicated, because our goal is to care for the women that are more on the normal track. Okay. Mm -hmm. You hear this term a lot, and, and certainly uh, I feel like it's a trend that you hear more people going to a midwife. Why do you think that is? I mean, is that is that true where I feel like this is kind of a, a growing thing in the health industry? Sure. I think a lot of women are becoming very educated and wanting a partnership in their medical care versus kind of, you know, um, they just want someone they can talk to easily yeah. and be able to really collectively decide about their decisions with their health care, whether it be just their daily lives versus mm -hmm. or also their um, birth experience, yeah. too. And the birth experience is a very important experience that really impacts your entire life and women really want that of course in learning that that's um, you know can be achieved through nurse midwifery care which and I think it's also interesting because I know uh, as I do you get very attached to, to the mm -hmm. nurses and the doctors and certainly if they followed you along through a pregnancy people can still see you maybe after birth and again you set up until menopause, menopause. Yes, absolutely and so again we're seeing you for your postpartum care and can even um, help you with breastfeeding issues or any other issues that might arise or just that normal expectations with postpartum care but also caring for you just with your annual exam and then if you do have other issues along the way again we do care for you all the way through menopause all right well as we wrap up here mm. what's your take home I mean is this something that we should consider that uh, women c should consider and then ask when they go to schedule their appointments like I mean how do you know if you should schedule with a midwife yes. or so it's just one of those things that that, of course it's a very personal choice but if you're looking for something you know that partner in your health care and just maybe want to try and see what that different experience is you know could always make that appointment and just meet with yeah. us as a consultation essentially. All right. well yeah. thank you so much for coming in this morning thank we appreciate you. your time had a great conversation of course there is the website to find out more information as well and it'll go on our website too